Alright guys, today we're going to be doing one of those standard INSs and uh, pretty much I'm not going to be grading it. So uh, just do your, try to do your best, you know, it's just going to be a certain amount of pages and you know, I, I really don't know, but uh, just, just trying to figure out a good topic for it and um, yeah, pretty much just get it done, get it turned in today. And... Alright man, I'm just going to go sit down and listen to my music so you guys just figure it out. Get it done. <laughs> This is really frustrating. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I have this paper and I gotta get an A or I'm gonna be in deep trouble with my parents. Uh, I gotta get an A and if I don't, I mean, I'm about to throw a fit. This guy didn't, didn't even, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now. He didn't even explain what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to write some paper. I don't even know what it's on. I gotta get out of here. You know, I don't even enjoy these standardized things, you know. It's, I think it's unnecessary, you know, it doesn't pertain with anything I do in class, so I don't even bother with it. You know, I just let my students do what they want, because I don't grade it, so I mean, why, why should I even care? pages long and you need to cover one key event that's changed your life in high school okay and this is standardized so I'm not going to be grading it but uh, pretty much you need to have a thesis statement you need to outline those five body paragraphs and wrap it up restating your thesis and your conclusion and for you seniors this is very important it's going to decide if you graduate or not um, if you guys have any questions or any ideas or anything like that please come up board and uh, uh, discuss with me and I'll let you know how it's going and some great ideas and uh, pretty much I hope the best for you guys and uh, let me know if you need any help. Okay, I'm always there for you. You guys have any questions? I think that's the president. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really excited about this. I think I can do really well, you know, uh, something that I, I did in high school. Um, me, when I maybe met the President of the United States, shook his hand or something like that. And if, I, if I do well on this, I'll get an A, and then I might be getting accepted into Princeton and into their English program. And I'm just really excited. This guy, this teacher's been great, and he's just helped me all semester. And he's just, you know, he's always been there and uh, helped me with ideas and writing these papers. And, you know, I'm so excited about this. These are great, you know? Standardized tests and essays to show what your, what your class knows, and I know they're gonna do good. I prepared them, you know, show them the necessary tools. They're just gonna shine on this. All right, guys, I got your test scores right here. I'm gonna hand them out. Um, a lot of you guys did very good, and unfortunately, a couple didn't, but that's usually how it goes. Here you go. Good job. I like that right here. That's a good one right there. Yes, an A. Ryan, let's go. There you go. And all the girls are going to love this. Woo! All right. Did anyone have any questions? Oh, yeah, Johnny. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even get my test back. What's going on? Here. Yeah, I didn't get it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to talk to you after class about that. Well, what did I do wrong? It was like too good of a paper. I don't think we want to discuss, but plagiarism. Call plagiarism. I put the link down, I don't know how it's decided. What am I supposed to do? Well, you can use things, but you can't use them word by word. And unfortunately, that's what you did. Alright, uh, whatever, man. After class, Johnny and the teacher had a little discussion. Johnny was still unclear on why, on why he was in trouble and was still not showing respect towards the teacher. Therefore, the teacher now will contact the parents via email. There's a good way as well as a bad way to do this. Mr. Lyle is very heated and irritated. Therefore, he sent an email to the parents without thinking or considering sending it to the administration before doing so. Longest day, I'm fed up. I don't want to do this anymore. What is going on? Oh my God. Oh, Johnny's parents are going to love this. He better get a spanking when he gets home. This is pathetic. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my. I just want Johnny to succeed, you know, like, he's a smart child, but he just needs to straighten up a little bit. I hope um, by sending this email, his parents can help him out and we can get on the same page. You know, he's really, he's really smart, but 
he just just doesn't apply himself right. Even though Mr. Lyles was very irritated and heated up, he still acted as a professional. Typed up the email, I, um, sending it to the administrator, waiting for the approval, and then sending it to, to Johnny's parents. Hello? Hi, Miss Lavalley. This is uh, Mr. Lyles from Sterling, Kansas. Um, I would like to inform you that little Nikki has been drawing very horrible pictures. That's... well... Looks to me like someone's getting their head shot off and blood covered in blood. Do you really think this is acceptable? Well, that's, that's not like him. Um, I'm gonna have to turn it into the administration right away. Excuse me? Oh, oh, okay. All right, have a good night. Bye. Thanks for coming. Thanks for taking sure. the time out of your day. I appreciate it. Sure. You know, little Nicky is one of, my, one of my best students in my class. You know, he really excels in many things. But um, I actually was digging through his notebook when they turned in notebooks the other day, and I've been seeing all these photos and stuff like that, and... Would you like to tell me what this is? It's very concerning about me. Um, well, you see, his dad, my, my husband, is in over in Afghanistan in the Army. And so I think he just, you know, hears a lot about what's going on in the Army with guns and death and stuff. So that's probably wow. what that has to do with. I had no idea. Yeah. He's a hero. I mean, yeah. it's hard to tell from this picture, but, you know, I guess I guess he really is a hero. Yeah. So This looks just like his dad. Oh, it does. Do you think you can tell him to refrain from drawing this at school? I mean, yeah, it's I'll not really school related, so. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it, definitely. I mean, it's, if other kids saw that, I mean, they would think that's that's them, you know, and mm -hmm. that's little Nikki, and you can't be having that happen, so. No, All right, well, thank you. I mean, I appreciate you coming, and I hope everything gets better. As teachers, we have many ways that we can communicate with our parents. We can send emails, we can um, make phone calls, and we can have them come in and talk to us. Um, depending on the situation, is going to affect which method of communication that you're going to choose. In this situation where we have concerning physical evidence to a, a problem or a situation, we would like the parents to come in and talk to the teacher. The teacher should set up some sort of formal meeting. Um, Discussing it over the phone or via email aren't effective ways of communication because you can't read body language and parents can't see the physical evidence that's in front of them.